This is the face of um, shock and, uh, well, you read the title of the video. I have, if you look inside, I've got a little cotton ball that is uh, supposed to stay in there because there's a lot of blood that might still come out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I couldn't go to work today, so I had to go to a doctor for the second time. Remember that ear infection we were talking about earlier? Well. Yeah, during the night, bloody pus basically came out everywhere, and today, the bill, $602.40. And I want you guys to remember that, la and this was with a 20% discount, by the way, because I'm a re repeat customer. <laughs> and there was a 20% discount last time because uh, I was a first-time customer. Discount, yeah, totally. Um... So the first doctor visit was close to $300 plus antibiotics plus this. We're at $1,000 for the week. For Monday and today, Thursday, there goes $1,000. Um, I was looking at health insurance options before. I'm going to get health insurance now. But uh, it's still crazy that health insurance doesn't cover everything. You still have to pay for doctor's visits and medicine and anything else. Uh, there's various deductibles, various copays, various things you have to look into. And it doesn't cover everything, and yet you're still paying thousands of dollars per year. Now, is this going to be happening every single month that I'm paying $1,000? No. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully it happens once a year. But it could always be worse, right? So insurance is basically there just, to, just in case anything really bad happens. It's still a shock with me coming over from Europe where... Either it was free, or if you wanted to get something done, like a surgery or whatever, it was a fraction of the price that it is over here. Even the same antibiotics, they'd cost like five bucks over there. Here, at maximum, like five bucks, five, ten bucks. Here, <laughs> like a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. And and then I, I signed up for a Walgreens discount, cost me twenty bucks. And I saved like sixty-one or eighty-one dollars or something like that. Um, yeah, well, so... <laughs> If anything else happens, I was asking some people from work, like whether they have insurance or not. And some of the stories they have told me, like $9,000 for a dentist, root canal and whatever. Um, you could fly business class both ways to Poland, get a root canal done over there, have some fun, you know, spend like $1,000 on, on the best hotels and whatever, and still come back with more money. <laughs> um it's just, it's it's one of those things where you're like, huh, there goes like a big chunk of what I made. <laughs> like literally the whole week that I worked went just boom, <laughs> just for this. And the whole procedure to drain the pus and everything took like five minutes, <laughs> which, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I did it. It's just, it's, I'm still going through like shell shock. <laughs> so I don't know what to say. I'm going to get health insurance, but it's going to cost me a few hundred dollars per month. And even with that, if anything happens, there's still a deductible. <laughs> so you still have to pay. And it's still going to be $50 per doctor visit and $20 per medicine. It's it's better, but for a price of $300, $400 per month, every single month, that adds up to thousands of dollars. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully nothing else happens. I mean... It, 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 it's a tough decision to make. Do you spend five to ten percent of what you make on health insurance, or even you know fifteen percent, twenty percent, maybe? It all depends because I get paid commission, right? Or do you uh, do you end up blowing what you made in a single week on uh, doctor visits and like ten, fifteen minutes of work? So. I mean, it's important. I got to take care of my ear. Here's here's another thing I was thinking about. Some people might be like, oh, just don't go to the doctor. I had a skin infection that just so happened to be in my ear. I knew that it was not a middle ear infection, which would be worse. I have very sensitive ears because of tinnitus and whatnot. So if there's a possibility of it getting even worse, then um, <laughs> I'd rather pay $1,000 compared to $10,000 for surgery or even more. So... It's, it's just, it's crazy. Guys, I made this channel as a journey. We're going to be on a journey for financial freedom, financial independence. Going back to work tomorrow. Hopefully everything's going to be okay with the ear. Still taking my antibiotics and whatever, but um, 
Oh, it's just going to take a while. You know, we're rebuilding our credit, so in the future we're going to have credit cards and going to be able to take care of this stuff and whatever, but um, it'll still hurt. It's just one of those things that's not perfect about America. It hurts, and I know there's so many worse cases. Medical debt is one of the common reasons people go bankrupt. It's crazy to think about. So, I don't think there's an easy way to fix it. It's a very complicated process, but maybe maybe at least we can focus on the financial aspect and fix that so i'm still excited for next year i'm optimistic everything's gonna be good it's just right now i'm feeling a little down <laughs> obviously because my wallet's down a thousand bucks it hurts <laughs> um i really didn't have the money to like blow like I, it was supposed to go for other stuff but um yeah just at least tomorrow's payday yikes yeah, hopefully nothing else happens. Please, 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 nothing else. So that's it. Just, uh, just filmed an update. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any crazy billing stories in America. That's it. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh, and by the way, what I just spent today—not even the whole thousand bucks, the six hundred—I basically in Poland would have covered for private care. Private care, where I can visit all doctors. I don't have to pay for anything except the per month. The only, the only thing I pay for is the monthly fee. I would. That would cover half a year. Half a year. I could go to ENTs. I could go to neurologists. I could go to many specialists. Everything would be covered with what I just spent today. And that and I had the VIP plan where I could go to doctors every single day. And I had 24-7 concierge servers and everything. <laughs> and here I just spent that on a single visit. <laughs> Yikes. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Last thing to consider... I had to cash out my Bitcoin dollar cost average $100 so far. This week looks like we're not going to be able to put in 50 bucks. And because I didn't go to work today, couldn't. I feel terrible right now. <laughs> it, it, the pain's coming on now that um, the anesthesia is wearing off. Um, I probably could have made 200, 300 bucks at work. Uh, I'm, I think it's a paid day, but I, I don't care about making $100 in a day or 90 or whatever it is. That's obviously not enough <laughs> if you're spending a thousand dollars a week, two hundred, three hundred. But you, you add all that up plus the gas costs. I mean, we're looking up to fourteen hundred dollars. And now I'm at Walgreens. I have to spend my last bucks here, getting more cotton uh, cotton balls because that was recommended to me. So great.